Hola, buenas tardes, good afternoon my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, it's so good to see you, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this plan with me. Today I'm going to be doing a plan with me, decorating my weekly spread for the week of the 23rd through the 29th in my horizontal happy planner this is my reading journal i use this to journal about all of the books that i'm reading i'm a huge bookworm so i love just engaging with what i'm reading to a greater extent than just reading it because i find that usually i uh, i read something and it kind of goes in one ear out the other type of deal oh it's windy here so i'm going to be decorating these pages for the upcoming week so if you're interested in checking out what i do just keep on watching All right, so this is gonna be a relatively simple plan with me. I have just two sticker books here and a few things um, that I wanna decorate with, but mainly I wanna be using this Planners Anonymous uh, sticker book. This is by Park Craft Smith. I got it at Michael's and it's a bookish themed sticker book, um, which is absolutely wonderful. If you're a huge bookworm like me, having a book themed sticker book is like the best of both worlds. So I'm going to actually be pulling for a couple of these uh, blue and gray and gold stickers. This sticker book came with two different color stories in it. The first couple of pages were all kind of in these in this burgundy pink with some blue and green uh, family. And then the second half of this sticker book was mostly blues, greens, and grays with gold accents. And I have pretty much used up all the decorative stickers of the burgundy, the red burgundy um, color story. And I haven't really gotten into these blues and greens, so I'm excited to be pulling for these stickers now and yeah I'm just gonna pull for these stickers I also have fun florals here from the happy planner just a bunch of floral stickers because you can never go wrong with florals so I have that here in case I want to pull for it I also have a little stamp here some whiteout correction tape and some ink um, and i'm ready to get into this plan with me and the first thing that i'm going to do actually is white out the names of the days i usually tend to leave those but i've been really enjoying just whiting them out because it kind of gives me a blank slate and i don't tend to write um, or journal in here the day like on the day like I don't journal every single day and I don't necessarily stick to um, The section like per day so you know I sometimes will write on Tuesday But I'll write from Monday through Wednesday if that makes sense And so it doesn't really make sense to me to keep the days the names of the days So I'm just gonna wipe that out and kind of give myself a blank slate here and then the next thing I'm going to do is pull for some of these washi strips. I think these are really, really adorable. Ooh, it is windy out here. I think these are really adorable, and uh, I think they just did such a good job with this sticker book. So I'm going to place that here on the edge. I like how that looks. And I think I'm also going to go for one of oh you know what i think i'm gonna go for this washi strip here with the books on it amazing so let me know what you are currently reading in the comments down below i would love to know what you are currently enjoying and i'm gonna go ahead and put this little ink pad there to stop the pages from flipping it is actually pretty windy out here i'm in my backyard and it kind of got chilly and windy in the last couple of hours uh, it's been cloudy all day but it's really starting to um, get windy um, in the evening here so i'm just gonna tear this there we go and now i have a little bit of uh, washi tape here that i could probably add maybe maybe over here or over here or over here you know what i'm gonna go ahead and add this right there 
there we go and then let's see what else I can find in this book here oh I like I like the sticker here I like the sticker right here. It's a vertical sticker with a little um, picture of a girl reading her book there. Very, very cute. I tend to use boxes like this in my reading journal to write down quotes that I really like from the book I'm currently reading. So I'll probably go ahead and do that. So I'll pop that right there. I actually don't want to add that many more stickers here um, because I do like to write in this journal. Like I tend to write in it more than I tend to decorate in it. So I'm just going to pull for a couple more. Um, I might use, I, I'll use this sticker, but I kind of want to layer it with some florals. Um, let's see, I'm looking for some nice blue florals that I can use to layer this with. I don't want any um, I don't want any gold foil on them though and I don't want these red florals maybe these would work or these I kind of don't want them to be so pink though I'm gonna go with these florals gonna place this sticker here I was thinking of layering it on top of these florals but I've changed my mind I'm actually going to uh, kind of bracket the sticker with florals and then add another decorative sticker up here let's see I saw a couple others that I think would be great um, this one that says so many books and not enough time I'll place that one up here there we go. I like how that's turning out. And then I'll add some, another floral sticker over here on this side. last thing I want to do is use a stamp to place a little stamp of a teapot because for me um, I like reading and tea go hand in hand so I'm gonna place this let's see where should I place this maybe in the check-in section or maybe up here Kind of went on the sticker here and on the washi tape but i don't mind that at all actually i think that's totally fine i'm gonna flip through this book one more time to see if there's anything here that i want to pull for i don't think there is though i think i'm good with these stickers yeah so that's that and i think i'm done here really really simple plan with me um, I didn't think too much about, you know, where I wanted to place things. I try not to think too much about placing my stickers down and wanting everything to be perfect. For me, it's enough that I am using my stickers and that I end up using this page and that I use it to journal about what it is I'm reading because the ultimate goal for this reading journal is to motivate me to continue to read and to um, challenge myself to read more, read more often, and to engage with what I'm reading at a deeper level and I think it's definitely working for me so I tend to journal on um, like throughout the days and then in, in this check-in section sometimes I'll cover it up and sometimes I'll use it as a section to check in where uh, with myself to see where I am in all of the books that I'm reading I tend to read a couple of books at a time so I use this check-in section to kind of keep tabs of where I am exactly in my books that I'm reading this was the last spread that I did. I had a lot of fun with this one. I used the same sticker book as well as some scrapbooking paper and some stamps. I had fun with this 
uh, spread and then this was the previous spread I experimented with using um, a brush pen to journal with and I did not end up really liking that it just felt kind of a lot uh, messy and chaotic I am not gonna do that again but I did really like the stickers that I used I used these Disney Mickey Mouse stickers from their Oasis collection and then this was the previous or the two weeks ago um, I just was very simple with this spread. I kind of highlighted the scrapbook paper here, which I found at a Daiso and it had like a bookish theme to it. So there's that. And here is the August monthly spread, which actually I might go ahead and um, maybe decorate this a little bit. Ugh, I wish I had like bookish type washi. Actually, I think I do, but it's at my desk and I don't want to go get it. But this is my August overview. Um, I'm still playing around with exactly how I like to decorate my August monthlies. I tend to make notes of when I start books and when I finish books here, um, as well as like when books are due at the library or when book clubs are meeting. Anything that's to do with like reading and bookish things goes into this calendar section. And something fun that I've been uh, doing lately is every time I finish a book, I print out a photo of the book and then I paste it into the monthly calendar spread with a little like review sticker that I got from one of the Happy Planners bookish sticker books. And that way, like flipping through my calendar, I can tell like um, at a glance during uh, like what I was reading during the, a particular month. So I finished Food Fix um, by Mark Hyman and I really enjoyed that book and so I pasted the picture here. And so that's my plan with me. Um, this was the August cover. This is my August monthly overview. I like to use this section here as a vocabulary list of words I've learned or just words that like really stick out to me and I kind of um, I research a little bit more. Here down in this little book section, I like to use it as a section to write down any recommendations I receive during the month or just books that kind of stand out to me that I want to eventually read. I'll write them down here. And I'm still figuring out what exactly I want to do in this noted section up here. Um, so if you have any ideas of what I can do here, let me know. And that's all, folks. So. Um, thanks for checking out this plan with me. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!